Hello and welcome back to another episode of Community Lens. I am Erica Jones with Somerville Media Center and we are here in the studio to talk about the Somerville High Culinary Program. We are joined with Jeff and Carla who are going to give uh, an overview of the program, a little bit of its history, some stuff that they have been involved in presently, and then some exciting new initiatives and upcoming events that you can get involved in. So, I'm going to open it up with Jeff. If you want to just kind of give an overview for those people who might not know about the program, what is this awesome culinary program? So, the culinary arts program has been around for 30 years. Mm -hmm. um, my partner and I, Melissa Nova, took over the program four years ago. Uh, we had a lot of uh, excitement coming in. We wanted to really do a, a lot of things different to uh, better showcase the program and the students within the community. Mm. And what has kind of evolved over the last 30 years in terms of some current programs and initiatives that you have going on? Uh, there are 70 plus vocational culinary programs within the state. Wow. And um, this program, you know, I mean, it, it trains kids to go on to either post-secondary education or goes right on to industry. We have plenty of students prior that have graduated that are now chefs locally and you know internationally. So there's a lot of opportunities uh, for these students. That's great. And Carla, how what is your involvement in this program? Who are you? Who are you? Because this is also right. about <laughs> promoting you, right? As yeah. an awesome, aspiring youth involved in the culinary. So. so. Um, I'm Carla, I've been in the program for four years. Um, this is my senior year, it's my last year, and essentially like I have been with Chef for four entire years, so I like I do most like I do know most of the stuff in culinary and I help out a lot from before after before school, after school, anything like that. If he needs help with anything, I got it. So you are the anchor. You are one of the anchors. Yeah. Yeah. Essentially. <laughs> um, what are some so Jeff mentioned some of the programs. What are some ones that you are like really proud of that the that the um, culinary program hosts? So this year, we have a new thing: it's breakfast club it's before school. Um, kids from culinary run it. Mm -hmm. So and also you know people in students can come in and have you know breakfast, anything they like. We just hang out for forty five minutes or anything before school starts and. Essentially, it's pretty cheap too. So like, we have sandwiches for like three bucks. You know, hot nice. chocolate. So um, that's a new thing that's this year. Um, we have a butcher shop what? that's new this year too. That's fantastic. So, yes. And can the public come to any of yes. these? Yes. So butcher shop to is know. open to um, the public. So we we are pretty good this year. We wow. gone a step up. All right, so you got you got a butcher department. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You got to use those machines safely. Yes. <laughs> yes, which is the first one I must mm -hmm. say in the nation in a high school setting. That is amazing. So we're making our own sausages. We're we're fabricating large pieces of meat into small pieces. Wow. It's, it is uh, butchering is kind of a you know a lost art. Mm -hmm. and good butchers are out there uh, making a ton of money. Mm -hmm. Even at your local supermarkets, you know, so uh, there's, there's a lot of different opportunities for these students. What a great skill to learn. There's the butcher. Um, what are some other like community events that the culinary program has been involved in? So we do do like we help the el elderly. Um, we do a lot of community work. Um, what else? There's a Little Sisters, Sisters of, of War. war. Mm. Yes, mm -hmm. that's a Kiwanis work. Club. Uh, every month Taste we host the um, Somerville uh, elderly, they come in, they have lunch or mm -hmm. they have um, uh, breakfast. So mm -hmm. for instance, two weeks from today, the elderly will be in, we'll do a big, you know, uh, lunch for them and, you know, they kind of have a meeting and, you know, we kind of go about their way. Mm -hmm. It's nice that these kids see eventually we're all going to get to. Yeah. So therefore it's... It's definitely gratifying for them, whether they realize it or not, in right. giving back to the community. It's a beautiful intergenerational uh, opportunity. I'm sure that there's communication that's happening, so you're of talking course. some stories, sharing some stories. Correct. Um, I'm a big storytelling fan, so I love any opportunity for like the intergenerational exchange. So that's really special. 
Um, I think it's important to continue to highlight some of the programs that you all are doing because it's fantastic work and it's um, vital, right, for our community. Um, as Somerville is changing, and it's really great to have the youth just involved in this type of community um, engagement. Uh, what are some upcoming uh, events that you have coming on the radar? Uh, this year, Taste of Somerville, once again, last year was the first year that we did it, and it was a huge success. That's how a lot of people um, in the community actually found out about us. Mm. This program that's 30 years old, you know, people that live across the street don't even know we're there. Right. So we have a full service restaurant, butcher shop, and bakery. Open Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, 11 to 1. Anybody can come in. That's awesome. So that is an ongoing thing. Mm -hmm. um, we do things for the State House. Mm. Uh, this big breakfast every year for a thousand people. Wow. Um, the vocational. Um, is it a catering program? <coughs> or? Correct. Yeah. The, um, uh, what's your guys' banquet? Vocational banquet? The vocational banquet where the students actually plate three courses for 500 people. Wow. There's yeah. all this like mathematics behind it. Wow, like, yeah. Like just order food and gas. Yeah. Or, so the kids get to learn, you know, how you actually execute something. And the like presentation, that. the aesthetics. Correct. Yeah. There's such an art to it. There is, there is. So There's such an art, yeah. Even if kids don't want to go into this industry, I mean, these are life skills. Right. You know, and we're the second largest industry in this country besides the government, which is number one, mm -hmm. to where these guys, whether they go on to culinary school or not, they can, you know, everyone kind of has washed dishes mm -hmm. or worked in a, you know, mm -hmm. bus and tables or something, so. Yeah, I think it's a level of appreciation too that may be lost just kind of in terms of growing up. And Correct. I did some catering in my day. My father's a chef. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, he was a chef in the Navy, so I grew up, he was always kind of like, you're going to come with me and you're going to help me to cater. I was like, all right. So it's a lot of work. It's but You have to be on your on your best and be attentive. Um, like you said, there's a lot of life skills that you there is. Um, learn from as part of the process. So ice sculptures. This is an event coming up at Assembly Row. Um, how did students go from being involved in food prep to being ice sculpturists. What is, I mean, it clearly is an overlap of art, right? Correct. Tell me about this. Because fortunately in my career and in college, I started to first learn ice carving. Actually, when I'm a product of vocational education. Mm -hmm. So that's where I kind of learned first. So we started ice carving probably three years ago, yeah. just mm -hmm. a little bit here and there. Yeah. Last year at uh, Taste of Somerville, we, we did three ice sculptures. That's, that's so You know, great. on site, yeah. people were, that's when people really started to get to know who we were. Mm -hmm. So Assembly Row and Earl's and a few other restaurants and bakeries mm -hmm. within Assembly Row reached out and wanted to do this big partnership. So there's opportunities through Earl's mm -hmm. for the students to do an apprenticeship, some stages, some you know hired right out of school, hired mm -hmm. now, mm -hmm. uh, as well as the other um, you know restaurants. Obviously, the restaurant scene here in Somerville is explosive absolutely it is unbelievable uh it's a lot of what we gear our restaurant towards mm -hmm. um that's current modern hip you know mm -hmm. very old classical dishes that are all turned new mm -hmm. so assembly row federal realty reached out and they said hey you know like we're thinking and like you want to start this partnership and you know I definitely fight, my colleague and I fight for the kids because mm -hmm. we believe no one else will. Mm. So anytime somebody calls us up, I always say, we can do anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but how about like you work in a scholarship for the kids mm -hmm. that will be presented to them at the night of the vocational That's you know, awesome. awards banquet. Yeah. So they were all over it. It's a win-win. I mean, it's an awesome opportunity for community outreach on both, on both regards. Absolutely. Yeah. So on December 15th, mm -hmm. Friday, Assembly Row, we're gonna have like an ice extravagance. Mm. <laughs> what is this gonna look like in the visual minds? We have eight different ice carving stations. Yeah. So therefore students, all the seniors have actually come together, which they do as a family. We are a family in culinary. Mm -hmm. And they'll all be there carving. Mm -hmm. uh, we're doing candy canes, we're doing a sleigh, we're doing a reindeer. Christmas tree, Santa, we're, we're going all out. That's which, fantastic. <laughs> what started as like this little bitty thing has blown up mm. now. Uh, even until this morning, I was still putting changes in 
I got just out of the sleigh and the reindeer. Mm. So uh, then the different companies there, you know, like one's gonna do candy canes, one's gonna give out hot chocolate, one, mm. you, you know, so it's definitely community uh, involved for parents to get out just mm -hmm. for a night with the kids. The kids are gonna have hot chocolate and see everything that's going on. There's gonna be carolers there and awesome. music, so. And so I, I really like that area with the river and stuff over there. It's beautiful. Which is, which is great to have some green space and being outside. Absolutely. And, um, that's really positive and impactful for you all to be involved with so many different restaurants and businesses who are supporting this effort. Um, what are you most excited about? Definitely assembly row. Yeah. <laughs> I've been waiting for this and like it's Mentally just preparing. Yes. It's really fun. It's a it's a really fun thing to yeah. you know, just work together and meet other people too. So great. Yeah. Well it sounds like um, you know, you're afforded this opportunity and they're gonna be blessed with you all being there as well and showing off your skills and your talent and I hope that this kind of continues on as a, a long term partnership. We've already started to talk about next year's excellent so, yeah that's great i'm not gonna release any secrets <laughs> so but no no breaking news here it will be bigger than this year okay awesome anything else that the the worldwide audience here should know about you could pitch the program what you could be like come and find us and be a part of this and support us how what would you say uh come to the culinary bistro at the high school Again, it's open Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, 11 to 1. Mm -hmm. uh, the kids are definitely showcased. They're, the, the only difference between what we do uh, and what Real World does is that we don't pay the kids. Everything else is run like any other professional kitchen. Mm -hmm. So it's great to see the students interact with the students, see mm -hmm. what kids are actually learning right. in career and technical education. Mm -hmm. Yeah, invaluable, invaluable experience. Great. Well, thank you for joining. Thank you. Um, I will be at the event. I will see you there. Awesome. <laughs> and that is it for today with Community Lens. Thank you, Jeff and Carla. Thank you. And a pleasure. Thank you. A pleasure. <laughs> all mine. All mine. And with that, check out the information on the screen. Get involved. Support the youth. Support their skill building. And we will see you soon.